Member of the European Parliament, Ukraine behind Crocus City Hall attack. At least five people were killed in Gaza aid delivery chaos. Guyen renovates its marine tourism infrastructure. Hello everyone, you are watching today's news on NTV channel. My name is Dan. Let's get started. Minister Marcel Graf, a European Parliament member from the Dutch right-wing forum for Democracy Party, said Ukraine was behind a terrorist attack on Moscow Crocus City Hall. More than 140 people were killed in Moscow in a terrorist attack planned and paid by Ukraine, Mr. Marcel de Graaf wrote on X social network. According to Marcel de Graaf, this is why Western media outlets were trying to promote the allegation of Russia seeking to influence the European public opinion through funding far-right political forces. The above statement was made after the Russian Investigative Committee on March 28 made a preliminary finding that the suspects in the Moscow Concert Hall terrorist attack were related to Ukrainian nationalists. The statement said investigators had obtained, confirming evidence, that the suspected Moscow attackers received funding from Ukraine in the form of cryptocurrency. The Palestine Red Karasan said five people were killed and dozens wounded by gunfire and satampets during an aid delivery yesterday in Gaza. According to witnesses, a convoy of trucks moving quickly past burning debris near the distribution point as people shout and gunfire echoes, some of which was warning shots. The Red Crescent said it happened after thousands of people gathered for the arrival of around 15 trucks of flour and other food, which was supposed to be handed out at Gaza City's Kuwait roundabout. The roundabout has been the scene of several chaotic and deadly aid distribution incidents. On March 23, in a similar incident, at least 21 people were killed by Israeli fire. However, Israel has denied this accusation. The midterm population and housing census will be carried down from April 1, 2024, ending on April 30, 2024. Notably, the serving will collect information about foreigners living in Vietnam. This midterm survey not only collects information on population, but also information on housing of residential households, along with a number of other important statistical indicators to assess people's quality of life. Although statistical data on foreigners in Vietnam has been counted and reported by many management ministries, However, the data is still not synchronized and used to effectively serve the management work. Collecting information about foreigners in Vietnam is the basis for compiling statistical indicators and reliable data sources to assess the size, socio-economic characteristics and demographic characteristics of foreigners residing in Vietnam. From there, appropriate policies will be issued to create conditions for foreigners to live and work in Vietnam, contributing to socio-economic development. Coming up next are some updated news. The General Statistics Office has released a report on spatial cost of living index, SCOLI, in 2023. Accordingly, the order of expensiveness among socioeconomic regions did not change much compared to 2022. Among them, the Red River Delta region continues to hold the position of having the most expensive prices in the country. The second position is the Southeast region, followed by the Northern Midlands and Mountains, North Central and Central Coast, Central Highlands, and Mekong Delta respectively. Hanoi continues to hold the leading position with the most expensive price in the country in 2023, with a scale of 100% according to the SCOLI Index. Ho Chi Minh City ranked second with a SCOLI Index of 98.44%. Ranked third is Quang Ninh, with a SCOLI Index of 97.94%. A Vietnamese American woman will be flying into space as part of a campaign sponsored by American nonprofit organization Space for Humanity. Amanda Ngoc Nguyen, 32 years old, is going to space in line with the Space for Humanity Citizen Astronaut Program, which aims to empower a citizen astronaut to address global challenges with a broader outlook. According to the organization, Amanda Nguyen will fly to space on a new Shepard rocket of Blue Origin, an American 
aerospace manufacturer, defense contractor, and launch service provider, becoming the first women of Vietnamese origin to fly in space. Leaders of Kisan District said that after approval by the Provincial People's Committee, the locality assigned the Economic and Infrastructure Department to prepare an emergency plan to embellish a subplot tower in Mili commute. Subplot tower is an Asian Buddhist architecture. The Asian tower has existed for centuries in the western region of Nghệ An. The tower has a height of nearly 22 meters, created by stack layers of bricks. Around the sides of the towers are decorated with many highly artistic motifs and patterns. A Sofla Tower is considered one of the unique artistic works of Nghệ An that needs to be preserved and promoted. This relic was ranked at the provincial level on January 26, 2024. In less than a month, the 2024 beach tourism season will open. At this time, the coastal districts and towns and many business and tourism service organizations in the province are focusing on investing in upgrading roads, accommodation and resort facility, creating more attractive hike like in the new tourist season. Officially come into operation for more than two years, this resort area has an area of 9,000 square meters. This year, the project owner has planted more flowers, built a swimming pool, and completed the resort complex. Hopefully, in 2024, Queen Beach Resort and tourism in general will welcome many tourists during the hot days of summer. In communes and wards with strength of sea tourism of Queen Lu District and Hoang Mai Town, business organizations and individuals continue to invest in the hotel and accommodation system, resort and cuisine. In order to prepare for the 2024 tourist season, Kua Lo Coastal Town is designing a highlight for a new space, Nguyen Hu Night Street, which will attract tourists with shopping, culinary and entertainment services. The town has directed to focus on construction items such as Bin Min Road expansion and sea embankment project to put into operation the 2024 tourist season. Cool Low Town and Queen Beach receive an average of over 5 million visitors each year. Investing in upgrading transportation infrastructure and developing more types of services is expected to bring tourists more impressive and satisfying experiences when coming to Guillen Beach. This is the end of the show today. Thank you for watching.